Hey, pilots, welcome back to the arena. We're here with another awesome mech spotlight for you. We're talking about the nimblest, jumpiest, scoutiest mech you can find. The Shadow? Oh no, you said the jumpiest. That's right, the Lancer! You're kidding me. We're doing a mech spotlight on the Lancer? What are we gonna talk about? How to get blown up in style? Oh, oh, my friend, you have so much to learn. Let's get into it. Yeah, let's. How is anyone supposed to use this mech without getting scrapped? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is rely on your speed. With a base speed of 25 kph, Lancer is one of the fastest mechs in the game, especially in the lower divisions. It's also small enough that it can take advantage of cover and mobility to avoid getting shot. Sure, okay, true. It's a tiny little guy, and it is fast, but the second it gets shot, it's gone. Yeah, you'd think so, wouldn't you? But actually, if you upgrade it, you'll find that it has comparable health to the Guardian, putting it miles ahead of other scouts. Wait. Really? All my memories of Lancers are of melting them in seconds. That's because most people don't upgrade them. Lancers start a rank lower than every other mech, except the Paragon and Juggernaut. Trust me, they get tough. Well, okay then, that's weird, but it doesn't change their other huge downside. With the amount of damage it's dealing, I might as well be spitting on the other mechs. You're not wrong. It starts with a measly four energy capacity, which is maybe enough to charge a cell phone battery. However, upgrading the Lancer to eight energy capacity isn't very expensive, and that gets you access to some very powerful weapons. A pair of auto cannons? I hate to break it to you, but... A pair of javelin racks, or a pair of shotguns. I, hmm, okay, I think I see where this is going, but you'll still be a sitting duck while you're waiting to reload. Ah, but you can jump. You can jump? The Lancer's jump jet's ability lets it fly high into the air, confusing enemies in close-range combat, and allowing the Lancer to access otherwise unreachable terrain. Rooftops, bridges, cliffs, they're all fair game. Some of those areas can even give you cover against enemies, giving the Lancer a chance to hide or reload. Wait, hold on. If you can hide out of sight on a rooftop, then you could use a javelin rack with literally no chance of hostile retaliation. Precisely. You can also pick the best possible moment to land down among the enemy and blast away with your shotguns, then fly to retreat. Not to mention the routes you can take to capture points the enemy thinks they've locked down. And that's not counting the craziness of just jumping up and down in the middle of a fight. Hey, do you think if you use jump jets, you could get javelins over an Aris shield? Oh, I don't think. I know. Huh? Wow. Okay, so maybe you've got a point. Lancers are pretty cool after all. So how do you fight a Lancer? Oh, you shoot it. Really? Listen, how tough is a Guardian? Yeah, they're not that tough. This is like a tiny, bouncing Guardian. Shoot it, maybe from far away, so it can't hurt you. And the jumping doesn't make that much of a difference. I guess, then, the mantra for the Lancer is pick your battles carefully. A good mantra for all mechs. Though the Lancer can use jump jets to be a bit pickier. All right, that just about wraps up this mech spotlight. We'll see you in the arena. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more mech arena content.